During the pandemic, so much of the focus has been on the number of new cases and deaths, but there are thousands of people who are doing really well and recovering, including ABC's George Stephanopoulos, who eight days ago announced he did have COVID-19. But just this morning, he had another big announcement. George tweeted that he actually tested positive for antibodies and that he is now signed up for a clinical trial to donate his blood plasma. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, if you didn't know, blood plasma is being used as a possible new treatment for seriously ill COVID patients. Other stars have also recovered, including CNN's Chris Cuomo. I feel like I've lived in his basement for two weeks, no joke, yeah. uh, who posted a <laughs> video showing him coming out of his basement where he's been quarantined for the past three weeks. Let's take a look. All right, here it is. The official reentry from the basement, cleared by CDC. This is what I've been dreaming of literally for weeks. My wife, yeah, right. <laughs> she was cleared by the CDC. She doesn't have fever. She doesn't have the symptoms anymore. More than seven days from her quarantine. We're still a little scared, so I'll just give you one of these. Wow, that's awesome. First of all, his house is much nicer above that basement. They might want to think about redoing it. Uh, but Brandon, what's the first thing you think you'll do after quarantine? Oh, first thing I'll do is go hug my grandmother. Yeah. Uh, my great grandmother, my great grandmother just passed away this morning at 98 <gasps> years old. Uh, and oh. it wasn't because of it wasn't because of COVID-19. It was just old age, you know, old age got her. And one thing that I really, really want to do right now is be there to comfort uh, my grandmother during this time. Uh, so one thing I, I just want to be around my family, Tori, once this uh, quarantine is over, I want to make sure that I'm safe first and foremost. But right now, what I really need need to, to be around my family. And I'm sure there are a lot of Americans out there who don't want to go party, don't want to go be social. They just want to see their family and friends. Wow, Brandon, I'm so sorry. What was her name? What's, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, sorry. Tori, you what, broke what, up? What was your great grandmother's name? I was just going to call her out. Uh, hello? Hi. Well, we'll get to Brandon in a second. We're having a little difficulty there. Uh, Lindsay, uh, your great grandmother is 105. She turned 105 yesterday. Is that right? Or two days ago? Well, no, so I posted a video of her dancing. She turned 104 in February, but I, she did a video for my little cousin. Birthday and she's kind of just on and, and being fun. But she's kind of like, Brandon, I am really sorry about your great grandmother. I know how much grandparents mean to everybody. And so I, I feel the same exact way. Like, I feel very distant, even though we're on FaceTime and Zoom calls.